I know that man from before. Several days later. I wonder what's taking Swain so long. I just can't believe that's Gascon, the heir to all Hamlin. My mind's been, uh, my mind's boggled beyond all belief, man. Really, no one saw this coming, huh? <laughs> yeah. All the characters are stupid, you see. I guess he didn't want us to know, huh? Yeah, even Gascon had the same sort of personalities as Swain. This is the way he spoke, I kind of saw it coming. I suppose so. It won't work the same now we... Now that he's a prince. Well, I'm gonna act like I don't know. Me too. Unless Swain wants to talk about it, I'm not going to say a word. Oh, you don't need to worry about me, man. All I, all I have, I all I ha, all have forgotten all about uh, about this in a bit. Oh, Jesus Christ! I'm bad at reading Drippy's dialogue. Couldn't remember it if I wanted to. Me, wanted to me. Wanted it me. Oh, I, uh, like I said, I'm bad at reading Drippy's dialogue. Almost all dialogue. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's forgetting. Sorry to keep you waiting. Swain! I suppose it's time to go, but I need uh, I need to say goodbye to Moxin first. Alright. It's the day that you're leaving, isn't it? Yes, your highness. Thank you for everything. No, 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 I should be thanking you. Because of you, I was able to become my father's heir, and soon I'll formally inherit his title. Yeah, but I bet people of Hamlin are glad about that and all. I mean to give I mean to give them a reason to be. I want them to know I want them to know they have nothing to fear from Shadar. I refuse to let him defeat us. I want Gascon to be able to come back to Hamlin whenever he likes, after all. I must keep the Empire until he does so. You'll make a fine Emperor, Moccasin. Gascon would be proud of you. I hope so. He always believed in me. And, all, and I shall never stop believing that he'll come back. Look at your locket, Ollie boy. It's all a glow, man. I don't... Th you don't think... It must be. Marcus's belief in his brother must be real strong. I'm sorry, I... Your Highness, there's something we need... need someone who needs your help. Someone who needs the strength in, the, in, his, in your heart. My heart? Whoever are you talking about? Well, you, Your Highness, in the future, I mean. In our time. A piece of your heart is missing. My future self? That's right. We need you to we need you to share some of your belief with him to help him get back to normal. My belief? Very well, I can hardly very well. I can hardly refuse my own future self a piece of my heart. Fuck it. I'm out of here. Ah, oh, fine. Take it. Nothing happens. I guess I got to talk to him. Take it. Take it. Take it. Rip it up. Belief. Noble certainty of unshakable faith. Thank you very much, Your Highness. There's no need to thank me. Now please, give that belief to my future self. Before you go. Swain? Yes? When you return to your time, please give my regards to my future brother. Uh, I guess you didn't see that cutscene earlier. I'll be sure to do that, Your Highness. Righto, back to the future, is it? Back to the future, it is. You know which spell you, you want to do to breach time, ain't it? Roger, let's go, everybody, to the future! Great Scott, to the future! The only thing to do is. Where is it? Breach time! Oh, we must go the 60 kilometers to get power to the flux capacitor! Oh. And I need uranium, though. Oh no, I guess the magic will okay. be the catalyst. All together. Today, Today, tomorrow, yesterday, yesterday send us safely on our way! way. <gasps> so, wait, how do they know to say that? 
It's a cultist spell. Suicide. Oliver's gone. Oh. All gone. All gone. Yeah. The palace has gotten more rusty. Did we make it? Huh? This fucking soundtrack needs to settle down. Are we still in the same place? No way, man. That's impossible. I know when a spell works, and the spell worked right. And that spell worked right and proper. We're back in our time, no doubt about it. This place is different somehow. Swain. We made it back. That's all that matters. Now, isn't there some someone we need to be helping? Or should be helping? Uh, of course! Come on, Oliver. Let's find Moccasin. Sure thing. Let's give him the belief back. His belief. Jumping with joy. Epic soundtrack. Epic fucking sound fucking track. Hello, girly man. Holy shit, he's really girly. Poor Marcuson. Poor lad's broken hearted. Now, this is a weird thing. Why does Shadar break people's heart, but he... He rarely... He only killed the, the king, but... Why does he just break hearts? I mean, I know this is a kid's kind of thing, but... Why doesn't he just, I don't know, kill them? Because I, I've already proven that I can fix their broken hearts. And I constantly keep keep on his trail fixing hearts over and over again. Why does he be like, oh, well, maybe I should kill them. <laughs> you know, he, he can't revive the dead after all. And another thing, when he, want, he wants to bring back his mother by saving Alicia, wouldn't she be dead? Because her... or broken hearted or what happens when your doppelganger gets killed anyways get hard kind of going on my own tangent here I don't know if it's a flower or not but they never mentioned what happens if their other self dies what's this 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 glow what's happening what is this warmth that spreads within my breast you are a woman, after all, aren't you? Oh, sorry, you're a dude. I forgot. Why is his name Porcine Prince, not Marcuson? He's not Marcuson yet. He's too freaking idiot right now. Uh, what have I been doing all this time? I've been so misguided. It was Shada, your highness. He took, your, took the belief from your heart. My heart? My belief? Wait, I feel... I believe... I believe in the people once more. I want to believe in the people. I want to believe in people. It has been long since I felt this way. Does this mean... Does this mean you have saved me? Was it you who get, gave me back my, my capacity to believe? It was... It was, your highness. I did promise, didn't I? I promised to come back. I'd come back to you if we were in trouble. When it, wherever you are, no matter how far away. Wherever I... I see... <laughs> now I see you came back I always knew you would thank you there's really no need to thank me your highness your highness we need your help we need your help to we need you to help us to defeat Shadar what did you say you mean to face Shadar that is impossibly reckless I am a sage and yet Shadar is able to enter my heart and take a piece of it in, take a piece of it impunity, impunity or whatever it is. I was reading so well and then I lost I, I lost myself on a simple word. I'm so sorry. <laughs> and yet I was saved just as I just as I was promised. Very well, I shall assist you. Together we can defeat Shadar the Dark Djinn. Or Dark Jin. Shadar's days are numbered. They they sure are. Thank you so much, Your Highness. I knew I, I, you wouldn't let us down. Heh. <laughs> and that is why you're the Emperor, Moxon. Hokey pokey, magic fix you. Okey. Well, well. What are we to make of this? It seems the Savior managed to acquire Mornstar after all. What and a fucking twist. to travel back to the present. I would have thought that. Far beyond his meager power. Indeed. 
The power to breach time can be used but once in a mortal's life, can it not? It would seem that he has benefited from yet more assistance. And that it's yeah, who the fuck did that? His formidable powers. Powers on a par with our own. This supposed helper of his is no mere dabbler in the magical art. Such powers recall those of that ancient king without whom our magic wands could not exist. Yes. What's with that specter? My... But that would be a truly terrifying proposition. If one such as he were to... Fear not. Should the need arise, I shall take action myself. Your radiance? You mean to say... <laughs> I do. He cannot hope to defeat me. Ah. And I will tell you. Oh no, monologuing. Oh, okay. We've been spared some monologuing. All right, everyone, listen. In order to defeat Shadar, we must first bre break down his defenses. Now, the Dark, Dish, the Dark Jinn is protected by a magical barrier known as the Black Brayer? Okay. The Black Brayer? Yes. It is a cloying, mag a cloying magical barrier which is which no spell can penetrate. What are they? Permeate? Neither Rashad or Alicia are able to overcome the Black Brayer. The, that is why Shadar was able to defeat them. And with the great sage is incapacitated, he was able to delve deep into my own heart and steal a piece of it. But now, Moccasin, oops, I mean, your majesty. Come on, ugh, that burp is not in the dialogue. Come along now, Alistair. I once fought alongside you as, as a child. There is no need for you to... Use my royal, royal title the same as it goes for all of you. Uh, sure, your majesty. Uh, huh, no, don't worry, Oliver. I'm sure you'll get used to it. Now, I would, de I would dearly love to accompany you on another journey. One, on another journey. One where you grow strong together. Strong enough to defeat Shadar. But protecting the Empire is my first priority. There is no, no no small matter really the mistakes I made whilst broken hearted. Wait, what he was saying earlier, could he actually be a fourth? Saying he would accompany me and all that? Huh. I wouldn't think so, but there is an extra slot I notice when I go on the thing there. So maybe. Uh I cannot cover myself in an oxy in the position of wand so the enable I'm not reading it probably. My aid Oliver. I'm just kind of trying to catch up to lost time. Morstar once belonged to the Wizard King. It is said to have magical power to overcome my en enchantment. That must surely include the Black Briar that protects Shadar. Unfortunately, however, the wand you have in your possession is not complete. Eh? Not complete? What are you talking? What are you on about? Mornstar's true power is beyond most wizards' comprehension. It is so powerful indeed, the magic the ancient king who created it who created who <coughs> created it decided his power should not be divided between three magical stones. These three stones are sealed away far from the wand itself. So we need to find them, right? Yes, but I have I have to uh, <coughs> But I have an apology to make in that regard. Huh? Why? What? What have you done? A map de detailing the locations of the three stones was once in my possession. I'm afraid, however, that has been stolen. Stolen? While I was broken-hearted, I made. I must confess that I became rather neglectful of the palace treasures. Books and maps would often disappear. To my shame, I actually observed several such thefts and did nothing. That sounds about right. I found it hard to care about anything much when, when I was brokenhearted. <laughs> well, this is a flippin' this is a flippin' rum. If the thief has pinched the map, eh, pinched wait, has pinched the map, and they get a hold of the stones. What do you think he's going to do with them? I don't know. What I do know, however, 
is the identity of the thief. His name is Cal Kublai. He styles himself King of the Sky Pirates. So, this is the Lapida reference? <laughs> Jesus, they keep referencing their own work. It's funny. Is there going to be an old lady riding a thing and everyone's going to call her mother? And a bunch of friggin' dudes. Anyways. All of the people to tangle with. I should have known you two would be thick as... Uh, anyways. I don't suppose you know who he is, do you? That's the thing with Sky Pirates, you never know who they are. They're always moving in a hideout to moving from hideout to hideout on these giant airships. Be sure that be sure as it may, locating cul what is it? Kublai Clu Ku I can't read his name, it's so simple, but I can't mouth it out. Kublai 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 Fuck it. I'll just call him Kublai. Sounds stupid, but whatever. It's probably what it is. It's still the easiest way for you to recover the three magical stones. He is very unlikely to cooperate peacefully. However, I have I had better teach you some new spells, Oliver. Ward spell. Fuse spell. Insight spell. You'll almost certainly be doing a lot of traveling on your search, Colby. Therefore, I will grant you one more spell. One last spell. Travel spell! Hmm, is that like a fast travel? Sweet. What does it do? Your ma uh, moccasin? It instantly transports you to a location you've already visited. While I am unable to accompany you on your travels, you ca I can at least make make them pass more comfortably. That's great, and it's about fucking time. I mean, and it means we can come by and see you anytime we like, Moccasin. Ha! Huh, indeed, but but be sure to use it to return to some of the other places you have visited on your journey and find out what have ch what has changed. If you visit the Temple of Trials, for example, you will now be able to take part in the Solosium series organized by my old teacher Solomon. Solosium, like the Colosseum. Oh wow, I almost forgot. I'm, I almost I almost completely forgotten about Solomon and the Temple of Trials. Our first priority is go through the Kenobi and Sky Pirates. Come on, Oliver. Next chapter on our adventure starts here. It sure does. Let's go. Finally, we're free. Free to do side quests. It was like being stuck in that fairy isle. That's enough for today. I'm finally free and I'll probably do some side quests here and there. <laughs>